I don't think I know what this video is about. Hi! Hi! It is I, Edya! And today, I felt like getting a bit more personal and something a bit more serious. Sharing like my feelings and thoughts with you guys. I hope you guys will stick around, share my emotions with me. Maybe we can connect on that level and maybe you can let me know in the comments your stories and what you can relate or maybe you can not relate to what I'm about to say. But I also bought shit! Ah! I'm not wearing any pants. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe. Let me introduce my new family members first. Eno, Eno, Kodirakuma. I got him from a game center. We won him. I actually want two of him, so I have one, my friend has the other one. And I always wanted to have a fluffy one because I love the fluffies. There I go, so I do have one, which is really weird to me though, is he's now bigger than my big Dirakuma. Um, so I think I will have to buy a bigger Dirakuma. I, I, I don't know, they, they kind of look as though they might not get along too well. We'll see. Even though I have to say, I do have no more space in my bed full. Full of bears, many many bears. So what we also have is the burger pillow. Isn't this just lovely? I was kind of like, let's not say jealous, but since my mom collected the other pillows, Dirakuma pillow, Kodirakuma pillow, Kiiroitori pillow, I felt like I want to have one too. I really wanted one. This shit was crazy expensive. And I do like the burger theme a lot. I also like the bread themes. That's why I do have like the bread Dirakuma and also I have like a slice of toast Dirakuma. There you go. <clears throat> so I got three things. Whilst I unpack, let me get into the topic. I've been thinking a lot. My grandma passed away last year. It was like a really weird situation to me. I mean, I, I think it's always... Uh, I addressed that in a different video too. It's kind of hard to relate to something that you have not experienced. As I said, like the older I get, the more I realize that there's like a huge difference between the experiences I make and the experiences my girlfriends make. Meaning that even though I per se don't identify as one of the guys, I will never be one of the girls. And I came to this conclusion, especially after um, some of my friends gave birth to their first children. That being said, you have a lot of people dying every day. I mean, let's be real. We, we all live, we'll all die. You know, everybody copes different with those types of situations. Also, it's kind of like, what was their relationship like as well, right? So you might have like a grandma dying, maybe you only saw her once a year, and it's like, you're not that close. I mean, of course she's family, but you never got to really spend time with her. So what's her death to you? But I really, really love my grandma. I did. I mean, I, I, I still do. What, what's really weird to me is that ever since she's gone for good, I've realized how often I think of her. And I, I, I mean, I, I used to think of her when she was around, when she was alive um, a lot too. But back then it was like, you know, I came home from work and like on, 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 on my way back home from work, it was kind of late and I want to eat and I want to relax. So I didn't call her too often. I did call her, but I mean, of course, you can always do more, right? But now it's like, I sometimes called her when I wanted to, to, to talk to her, like about stuff. And now it's like, you know, things come to my mind and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to tell my grandma. And I'm like, I can't. It's an experience that is very unique to each person. I mean, of course, other people will be in the same situation as I am naturally but how you feel about things and how you cope with things will be really different for everybody the one thing i realized going through her death was that we all had different relationships to her when she was laying sick in bed like her siblings visited and i haven't seen them in like decades like literal decades yeah kind of was like this moment where they kind of rolled out the past and, like talked things through and it's just so so not heavy but it's like all this information you didn't have you have your story with your grand. You have your story with your parents. The thing that suddenly, 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 suddenly came clear to me is my mother has a different relationship to my 
grandmother than I have to my grandmother simply based on the fact that they known each other for longer. She grew up with her. It's like she grew up with my grandma. They made different memories. They had different experiences together. When I met my grandma, she was already my grandma. At that point, they already went through all those things that happened in the past. I wasn't around back then. My relationship to my grandma is unique to us, whereas the relationship between my mom and her is unique to them. One's not worthier than the other. It's, it's not about that. It's just like my grief is different to the grief of my mom. Obviously, how do you... How, how do you offer support to somebody who's grieving if you cannot grasp the depth of their grief and like how much they hurt what do they need because everybody needs different things right i couldn't say i mean I, I, I still think about my grandma like almost every day and it's like i probably used to do that before too but now that, that it you know kind of reflects that i cannot talk to her anymore it's really really weird my cousins are both adopted and you see the moment they were presented to the family they were family it's like so weird when they adopt my first cousin they're like well this is our daughter and i'm like yes sure of course and you just kind of accepted the fact and you just kind of accepted her as a part of the family when they adopted my second cousin she also just became like an instant part of the family i don't know and I, I never questioned that they're just part of the family and that's it Oh my fucking god. Okay, so this is Vetement. This is a Vetement t-shirt and I am friggin' in love with this. Do you see the size? This is S. That's an S, alright? See in the back? What I just realized is on the back of the label, if you put it up like so, it says Demna Gozadia. This is amazing. And you do have like Vetement stitching in the back. If you, if you look at the mall in the pictures, they always look like really fashiony and fun and shit is like really expensive. But if you look at them up close, there's a reason for that price. Of course, you're also paying for the brand, but those details are just amazing. And if you look at the print, like the print looks and feels great. But let me try that on. I think this is really worth like every dollar. Wait, I paid yours. I love this so much. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so despite the fact that I don't have the money for the shirt, I will keep it because it's so amazing. Oh my freaking god. While we're while we're wearing this very child-friendly shirt, let, let me tell you the story about how how I met my brother. They left really late at night to go to the hospital and they came back before I went to school. And because I was still in school at the time, the moment I saw him was so, so, so magical. I will be really real. Let, let me be really real. When I saw him, he was like really, he was super soft and he smelled super nice. On the spot, I knew that I love him and that this is just, this is, I will have to, like, you, you, I had to love him. And there was no other way around that. I do, still. So I got late, to, I, I mean, I, that day, um, I was late, for, I, I was always late for school because I would spend roughly two hours, like, thinking about what, what will I wear for school that day? You know, back then I was really deep into, like, the bad cave scene, gothic scenes, and, like, really elaborate outfits, and they took forever, yeah? But this day I came late because, I was introduced to my brother and this feeling was so weird. Let me open the other package too. Isn't that cute? It came at such a great price, I couldn't have said no. And because I bought this, I had to buy something matching. There was no way around that. I mean, we're still at the beginning of the month. We still have like three weeks to go. So we'll see how I will feed myself. But yeah, keeping this one, keeping. I mean, this shirt is a no-brainer, right? My brother and I do have different fathers. This person came into our lives and... Oh my freaking god, wait. Oh, I want to take off the tag. Why am I so... Wait, I do... You know what? When you're like really stupid, there's no remedy for that. Okay, so let me just recap real quick. 
because I am losing my train of thought. I met my brother, instant love, ongoing instant love. I met my cousins, instant family, huh? So we're meeting this person who is dating my mom at the time and he sure as hell was a person. He came into our lives and he never became part of the family, never. The weird thing is he's 50% part of my brother. So my brother wouldn't be around if it wasn't for this, well, for that person, right? Still, I foster no feelings of warm or law for this person. There's many reasons to that and um, of course you will never, you know, be at a point where you love everybody even within your own family. But even though the situation is so similar in the end to like adopting, it was like a tumor, like something you had to cut out. And you would think you'd get used to something or like to a person if they are so near to you, like in a spatial sense, not on an emotional level. And he really tried. It's not like I can't even, you know, blame the guy for not trying. He really tried to get to know me and be a father figure, I guess. But at that point, I didn't need a dick. Well, I I, I did need a dick in my life, but I didn't need like a father figure. Well, at least not him. So it's not even like his fault. It's not like he did anything wrong. Well, he did, but you know, it's, it's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. But what I wanted to say is like, it's really weird how some people come into your life and you just, you know, instant connection, that instant emotional level and you just accept in a part of your family. And like other people, you just don't. You know what I'm getting at? Some people you love and some people you don't. And isn't that weird? Isn't it weird how you cannot choose your feelings? They, they, they can't even do anything against it, even if they wanted to. You can have all the good intentions in the world and still achieve nothing. I don't think I know what this video is about. We do have a freaking Stussy hoodie! Oh my gosh! They had like a limited one to Tokyo that just said Stussy Tokyo, which is like really cute. But then I found out about the world tour and they have like the print on the back. And I think these days you cannot have anything that does not have a print on its back. You need a print on your back. That's just, it's the law. It's the law. I will call the police on you if you don't have a print on your back. You see, I needed this because it will go so nicely with this. No way, it was the other way around. Let me try this on. So this is an S. This does feel really tight. I mean, you know what it is? It does fit. But I'm so used to wearing oversized stuff. I'm like, so let me just get into the drama of it all. We do have my brother, we do have my cousins, we do have his father, and we do have a funeral. At my grandmother's funeral, I I didn't know how everything will go down, so I brought a very dear and close friend of mine with me to, you know, like have a shoulder to cry on, literally. My mother's ex-husband will also be there, which was really, really weird to me because, as I said, he's not part of the family. He is my brother's father, but he is not part of the family. He had no business being at the funeral. He made it really hard to grieve. And I know this might sound really petty, but he stole that funeral from me. You know, we do have funerals to have that moment where we move on, where you have like a clear cut, where you lay somebody to earth and that's it. And we kind of didn't get to think about that because he was there and he was like really present. Let me put it like that. So I came out of that funeral. It didn't feel like the clear cut I was hoping for. Maybe that is not simply due to the fact that he was around, but what do you do if like the moment we as a society decided on to be the, the, the final moment, that moment, if you kind of don't have that? I don't know. This hoodie, I, I, I think that is too tight for me. I can feel my armpits. I'm, oh wait, actually, actually, I think I'm full of shit. I remember that moment I went to the funeral of a neighbor in the past and all of a sudden I had to cry when she died I basically felt nothing but at the funeral I had to cry because it was just so final you know it's like oh my gosh this really is happening I was like prepared to have that moment with my grandma and it just I, I couldn't and then I you know I was questioning how fickle is that feeling that it can be destroyed by this one person but I'm just kind of still overwhelmed with everything I don't know how 
I don't know how to people. All around me I see people struggling with different things and it's like you kind of you, you can understand where they're coming from sometimes and you can understand why they behave in certain ways and you just want them to be better and like become better but there's nothing you can do because they have to cope by themselves. They have to figure out what will make them move on, what will keep them going. We all have to figure that out by ourselves. You can grieve together and you can kind of bond in 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 sadness but there's so many stories I mean everything is like that something that affects you on a personal level will affect somebody else on a different level and you're kind of like in the same situation but you're not my relationship with my grandma my mom's relationship to my grandma totally different things totally different like situations and positions and it's like when we have the same person but when we talk about her when we tell stories it's like we speak of a different person altogether and so you know like feelings are so complex and people are kind of simple but also complex and um, relationships are like that too and I'm pretty sure there's there's a reason to 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 th there's a meaning to what I'm just trying to say right now um, even though it's hard to grasp for myself I think people underestimate emotions and psyche and I think that we need to be more mindful of situations people go through for example if you are in a divorce or if you if you're like in a breakup situation and you become single all of a sudden or whatever you know it's like people kind of grant you x amount of time to move on but what is a normal time for anything i mean and it's the same if somebody's you know like dying and you know like leaving you and when will you get over it maybe you won't ever you don't know that i mean do you have to i don't think so you don't have to you don't have to get over anything you will have to work on it and cope with it but that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get to a point where you're like yes this is fine fine it's fine with me maybe it won't ever be fine and i think that's okay and i think we have to accept that some people will grieve for a long 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 time i think we will also have to understand and accept that a lot of time there's nothing you can do about it and there's nothing you can do to make it better I think it's important to talk about things. It's important to talk. It's really important to share your thoughts. If you don't tell people what you think and what you feel, they cannot grow with you and they cannot help you and they will not understand you. We do have movies in our mind that keep playing and we have movies in our mind of like other people that keep playing. But you have to realize that's your movie. Maybe they have a starring role in that movie, but they don't know that. Your thoughts are not their thoughts and like your perception of life and reality does not necessarily have to match theirs. Still you can love them and still they may love you and still I mean you may get along and whatnot but we have to we have to accept that people are different and that we cannot project our hopes thoughts and feelings onto those people because they have their own baggage. So let's just share all of our baggage. Let's be there for each other. Talk. Talk, 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 talk. Don't think that your feelings are like irrelevant. Don't think that your feelings are stupid. And in all honesty, if you talk to somebody and they give you that feeling, then maybe they're not the person you should be talking to. Maybe you should realize that those people don't have your best interest at heart. If, if, you're, if, you, if you're talking about yourself, if you're talking about something that really moves you, that they don't understand it or they don't even want to understand, I'm sure there's somebody who will and you will find them eventually but you won't if you don't talk to people so please do and share your thoughts this still feels kind of small i i i, I freaking don't know like comment subscribe, subscribe.